Welcome to Riverbend Talon on WBGZ. Brought to you by the Halpin Music Company. I'm Dennis. And I am Big Ben. We're rolling into another edition of Riverbend Town, this uh, taped version, because the Illini on last night, knocking us off the air again. Yeah, so this is uh, no, we we on it. Thursday nights, but tonight we're on, on a Friday right. night. We deserve, though. We kick uh, Howard Clark off every week, don't we? <laughs> we kind of step on his toes <laughs> just a bit. But, so, uh, but here you we missed are. a great Thursday, and now we're into Friday night around the river bend. What we talk about here, in case you're uh, tuning in for the... Maybe we're getting someone new tuned in. Hey, can I, can I mention that we're sponsored by Halpin Music? Yeah, that's when I, we do it. The I new guy's mention. listening. Uh, sponsored by Halpin Music. Uh, big thanks to Halpin Music for the longtime sponsorship of this show. They've been with us for years now. Yeah. Uh, and for all the great things they do for the community, from you know selling us our instruments, repairing the instruments. Uh, my favorite is the kids rock, uh, teaching the kids to play in bands together. Love that. Right, so, four to seven. Yeah. So so uh, thanks to uh, Halpin Music Company for the sponsorship and for all that they do. Also, big thanks to Mr. Matt Van Boris of Macias Insurance. For the fabulous insurance, uh, for the long-time friendship, and for not being selfish in bed. I don't know. I'm Matt. pretty sure he does not have daily specials on insurance. So. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to call him and be like, hey, what's the special today? <laughs> that would be pretty awesome. But helping, if you go to their Facebook page, they have some daily feature every day, something yeah. on sale. Yeah. So cool. I think they're still trying to get rid of uh, last year's stock with guitars, and amps, and basses, which you can get for like 50% off right now. Hey, we got to move out last year's models, make room for this year's models. So what do we do here on this show that you're wondering why we're talking to Alf? And, oh, I don't uh, know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we normally, so what we do is we, we interview local artists. If you've never tuned in right. to the show, you're brand new. Uh, we interview local artists, musicians mainly, because that's a lot of what we know, but artists of all types, but... Uh, we also sp- uh, promote all the local gigs on this side of the river. Uh, yeah. Sometimes we venture over to the other side of the river. We venture out of the river bend, even deep into Illinois sometimes. But mainly we uh, we focus on this side of the river from, say, Grafton to Belleville and out to Staunton and now even up to Pocahontas. And uh, But we let you guys know where everybody's playing on the weekend. And in addition to us coming on the radio and doing that, my co-host Dennis... Uh, Post it on his website, cottonmouth.org. So when you're out and about on the weekends and you're like, hey, what were those jackasses on the radio talking about? I can't remember. They mentioned too many gigs. You can just go to pull up your phone, go to cottonmouth.org, and he has all the uh, the happenings for the uh, evening there. So I, it, and, and this is weird because we're here on a Friday. We're always on Thursday, and I can't help. I keep wanting to say, go down to Morrison's Irish yeah, Pub for the, we for the can do that. shanties. But they're, they're Somebody's not, down there. I bet someone, yeah. I bet I'm not sure who. There. But they start at 8 tonight. Here's the thing. If you go down there and get drunk on Irish whiskey and just start singing, I bet people join in whether yeah. it's a sing, sea shanty sing-along night or not. I or they'll ask you to leave. <laughs> That's so, what I mean, you know, me. 50-50 shot. <laughs> 50-50. So, yeah, uh, since so. we're taping, uh, not on top of the gigs like normal or a, or a week behind. That's all right. We're we're, yeah. we're going to go ahead and give you what we what we knew last. What we week. know. What we What's knew, been uh, updated. Yeah. So uh, and, we're going to uh, start off with our our guest tonight. Right. Uh, Tommy Fleming, uh, DJ Karaoke Circus, nine p.m. at the Third Shoot in Alton tonight. Right. He's our guest, tonight. and he will be our guest uh, here coming up just uh, briefly. We'll talk to Tommy not only about the DJ Karaoke Circus. We'll also talk about the Third Shoot Bar, all the great things that are happening at the new Alton Third Shoot. Uh, there's one in Grafton, now one in Alton, and uh, he also what we talk about some some other things with Tommy about uh, his uh, extreme entertainment business, his extreme pool business, quite a bit. But uh, you'll find out more about the DJ Karaoke Circus. Uh, shortly. And how he got that boat down there. <laughs> that's right. There's a boat bar at the third shoot, and we're going to talk about it. That's, a, that's, that's crazy. So, <laughs> um, borderline, 8 p.m. at Fast Eddie's Bon Air. Tonight. That is folks. tonight, Friday yeah. night. Spilly Nelson going to be down at the uh, Beer Barrel Pub in Godfrey. Oh, that's that's right. your neighborhood. That is right 10 p.m. Yeah, that that yeah. is my neighborhood. I might have to go see Spilly and the boys when I mm-hmm. get out of here. Mm-hmm. Doc Holiday uh, doing a Friday night at Deutz, which means they're doing Saturday night at Deutz as well. That it tends Deutz to be Village Inn and Pontoon Beach. Tonight. Tends to be the case. Hey, uh, good job with Deutz doing not only the Friday and Saturday, bringing it up with the Thursdays almost every week too. Mm-hmm. I love to see that. All right, we got 
Friction Drive tonight, 9.30 p.m. at the Pump House in Edward, or Edwardsville in Wood River, Illinois. I, I, I kind of glanced down the line there. Um, now, Friction Drive, 9.30 p.m. at the Pump House in Wood River, Illinois. Strangers doing the uh, back bar in Edwardsville, 9 o'clock tonight. Mike Harper, 5 to 8, and then Big George Rock Jr. and then GK Band, 9 o'clock at the Stagger Inn again in Edwardsville. Man, that'd be a good show. Big George uh, Rock always bringing the noise when he uh, hits the stage. So We got Cree Rider uh, of the Cree Rider family band doing, I guess, a, a uh, an acoustic set, 7 to 10 p.m. up at George's local brew in Jerseyville. Cree Rider's a good dude and a great musician, man. Yep, and they do the open mic at the uh, Hog Pit on Friday nights in Grafton. Yep, and then we got the Murder at Abbey Mystery Dinner. Murder at the Abbey Mystery Dinner, 6.30 like, p.m. at Pier Marquette Lodge in Grafton. That's Illinois. imminent, 6.30. Uh, 6.30. That's imminent. Move it. Move it. Get there. Move it. Be Move there. It. Uh, so have you ever been to one of those? Uh, no, but I want to go so bad. I, I have a – so I went to one, but I was a child. It was in the 70s. Oh, man. And Here we me- go. remember when the landing had all the boats on it that you could go in? Like right. if you went down to the, the St. Admiral. Louis Landing, the Admiral, mm-hmm. there was a McDonald's boat. Right. The Wax Museum was on a boat back then. And there was a dinner boat that And you did. could catch your own filet of fishes and fry them up right on the deck. <laughs> remember that? <laughs> I don't and the Grimace was out there, and he'd slap you on the back of the head. I, you know, I love Grimace, man. I, I know too. he's on the spectrum and all, but he, he he's a big purple a bundle big of joy. Purple fuzzy thing. A big purple bundle of joy. I don't, but it, I he can a, move them hips, though. So. I, I, he can move them hips. <laughs> yeah. You ever see him shake? Oh, yeah. He can oh, shake, yeah. shake, 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 shake. Knock you right off stage. <laughs> Uh, but trying I, to fly I, up I, your fry of fish. Even though it's been all them years ago since I was a kid, I still have a very... Uh, a uh, clear memory of going to the uh, mystery dinner uh, theater over on the boat down there, and if you so if you got kids, man, take them. It, it'll it'll probably be a memory that they'll uh, hold for. What what I really remember is the bad guy in black, like the you know there's a right. bad guy. We started booing him, and so, he and he hollered at us personally, which made it seem real to me yeah. as a little kid. So you up in the balcony, stop your booing, and oh, I was scared a little bit. So you suggest people go to Marquette Park tonight and take in the uh, murder at the Abbey Mystery Dinner then, huh? I'm just strolling down memory lane. I forgot we were even on the radio. So, yeah, yeah, anyway, that's uh, the murder at the Abbey Mystery Dinner, 6.30 p.m. Pier Marquette Lodge. Get a move on, people, if you're going to make it. You ever been to Swansea? Yeah. Right? got married in Swansea. Swansea. Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah. So the uh, the Graham Band will be playing at Fletcher's Kitchen and Tap in Swansea, Illinois, at 9 p.m. It was a very famous UFO sighting. Oh out yeah, of Swansea. In yeah. Swansea, really? Mm-hmm. I did not realize. Uh, that. Police officer. That's why it's nice. famous. Yeah. Nice. Uh, there you but go. that's so, that's for our other show. Or wait, no, <laughs> we don't have another <laughs> show. Do that's for the other show that we're going to start someday. I don't know. But that, that wraps up the uh, the Friday oh. evening in the uh, greater Riverbend area for this. Uh, At least as far as we knew a week ago when yeah, we recorded we, this segment. Yeah, this was recorded last week. Yeah. So if, if there are gigs that have been posted since then and bands right now going, man, I got online and posted my gig so they'd mention it and we didn't, yeah. we're sorry. Big sorry. So and sorry. Uh, But what we do do is we update the links. You said doo-doo. What we do do is <laughs> update the links at cottonmouth.org. So... <laughs> Within this past week, I've probably went in there and, and figured out, okay, now now they've got somebody listed at Morrison's. They've got somebody listed at Boston Open. they got somebody listed at Patrick's in Grand right. City. You know, and so the, I'll update and the on them. the house at Buffalo Park and all those. So, yeah, that, that right. so just because we didn't mention it uh, doesn't mean it's not happening. Go on cottonmouth.org, and you can uh, check out uh, more up-to-date lineup. Right. For the Friday evening. Once again, coming up in just a bit, we will be talking to DJ Tommy Fleming. Yeah, and Tommy, uh, Tommy's up to it. Got a lot going on between the uh, DJ uh, karaoke circus, between what he's doing with the, the new third shoot bar in Alton, and, of course, keeping up with life. He's got a, a, a child, and he's got a business and, and all that stuff. So good for him for uh, having the gumption to do so much stuff, right? It's yep. hard to keep up with that much. And just for the classic, the classic people in the listening audience, it's like Forkyville we're talking about, guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Forkyville. Richards. Third shoot, right? Yeah. Richards. Yeah, Richards. Yeah. It was, man. The club. Was, uh, or, yeah, uh, huh? Richard Tight, man. He owned that. I, mean, I don't even know how long it was mm-hmm. there. Was, you know. mm-hmm. And, and I, I believe we touch on it with Tommy that it had a bit of a, a dark 
uh, some yeah. patches in its history. It was known as a bit of a rough place, but I think that's all kind of gone away, and it's more of a uh, yeah. go drink, sit on the boat, and watch volleyball and, and get drunk kind of place now. Mm-hmm. So listen to good music. That I think the uh, folks that uh, did Bottoms Up did a good job uh, turning that place around, yep, getting absolutely. it uh, back in shape, and uh, now they made it third shoot. So we'll, we'll learn all about that here in just a bit with uh, Mr. Tommy Fleming, plus how they got that boat down there. Yeah, right. right? Isn't that crazy? Uh, so uh, we'll find out about that. But meanwhile... Uh, well, let's, let's talk about Saturday. Let's then, cover right? that Saturday, man. Big George Rock Jr. and NGK Band in action Saturday night, 7.30 at Shea, Maryland's tomorrow night. There you go, man. Uh, Can't go wrong with Big George Rock Jr. No, uh, those, those guys. And, and living uh, blues... Uh, encyclopedia right there. If you want to know something about blues history or about a certain blues man, show up at Shea, Maryland on Saturday night at 7.30. Wait for a set break, and when Big George walks over to the side of the stage to sit down, just walk up and say, Hi, Big George. My name's Larry. Those boys on the radio. Yeah. Yeah, Those those, those young men on the radio told me that. He'll know exactly who you're talking about. Those young guys, those young fellas. (laughs) Wait a minute. (laughs) <laughs> you got to be like an octogenarian if you're calling me young. Well, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're young to Big George, right? He, he, oh, well, he's them boys soul. on the radio. He's an old soul, let me <laughs> exactly. tell you. So. Yeah, so those, those little but, whippersnappers on the radio said he's a living legend. Oh yeah, he he will talk to you though. Yes, yes, he sure. will. Uh, and just a, a super friendly guy, and just an, an amazing amount of knowledge about the blues. There, uh, so. Yeah, his father, and uh, you can listen to the past interviews we've done with Big George, but his father. It's some uh, big blues clubs, oh, and, and everybody you can think of on the blues list, oh. his dad knew. Yeah, he, I so just saw, I, I actually, I, I grabbed a poster of his dad for you, and I forgot to bring it in. I got it sitting at my house because he just played over at the uh, listening room over at KDHX, and there's yeah. a big poster of him hanging nice, right there. Nice, nice. Big George Sr., yeah. So, yeah, there you go. So, Big George Brock Jr. and the NGK Band, 738 Shea Maryland's on Saturday night. Also Saturday night, we got Lanny and Julie, 7 p.m. at the Old Bakery Brewery in Alton. Well, Flatliner at Third Shoot, Saturday night. We got in Anthony Nanny right. at 3 p.m. and then Borderline at 8 p.m. And that's at the Fast Eddie's Big Fun in Alton. Up in Jerseyville in... Uh, George's Local Brew. It's John Evans from 8 to 10 on Saturday night. Mondon Band, 5 o'clock, and Gypsy Soul, 9.30 at the Pump House in Wood River on Saturday. Gypsy Soul. That that name sounds like a familiar, like an old 70s band, but I, I just... No, I think that was an April Wine song. Ah, okay. I, I, no, I don't... It was probably not. I thought it was I think an that Alma is Gypsy song. Queen. I don't know. <laughs> gypsy Queen, yeah, Gypsy Soul. Yeah, sign of the Gypsy Queen. Remember that sign? I do remember that one. It was yeah. kind of like a peace sign but with an extra finger in it or right. something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> with an extra finger. Uh, all right, so Mondam Band and Gypsy Soul, 930 at the Pump House in Wood River tomorrow night, Saturday night. Scott uh, and Carl. There you go. Scott and Carl. Right. Both of them. Both of them. Not one. Not Scott. 3 to 7 at Grafton Winery Saturday, right? At the Grafton Winery, 3 to 7 p.m. And it's not Scott or Carl. No. It's Scott and Carl. So there you go. Riding Shotgun, 6 p.m. at Who Dats in Collinsville, Illinois on Saturday evening. They're having a drag show uh, at the back bar in Edwardsville tomorrow night at 9 racing. o'clock. How are they going to do that in the bar? It's going to be Big Daddy Don Garlitz in a tutu. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that, huh? He's your daddy. Big daddy Don Garlitz. <laughs> <laughs> no. that, 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 that could be interesting. But, yeah, so a drag show, and, and it's not drag racing. It is a drag queen show. Uh, 9 p.m. at the back bar in Edwardsville, and I believe John in our Force. Next... John Force will be there. The hedgehog himself, Ron Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> in a dress. <laughs> Divine uh, will be there from all the... Water stones. Anyway, uh, no, none of that's true. Uh, anyway, uh, I think, though, in our next segment, when we talk to Tommy Fleming about what's happening at Third Shoot, they also got some drag shows coming up, some burlesque shows, some comedy shows. Actually, so. I think one of them passed already, but, yeah, we yeah, mentioned well, it. We mentioned they're, it. They're, they're going to do more. Burlesque, yeah, they do. So there you go. Uh, so drag show, 9 p.m. at the Back Bar in Edwardsville. That's tomorrow night. All you uh, drag queens and all you uh, lovers of the drag queens get on out there. You know what happens if you're the uh, Doc Holiday band you play tonight at Doid's Village, and you also have to play tomorrow, tomorrow night, right? <laughs> so Doc Holiday band back at Doid's 
On Saturday as well. Nice. And then we got Bongo Jack versus the Loop Machine. doesn't say that, but Bongo Jack, uh, I imagine it's Bongo Jack versus the Loop Machine. 6 p.m. at DeCamp Station in Staunton, Illinois. Yep. Yep. And then here's a big one, right? I guess so. Bow, wow, wow. Right? When in Rome. <laughs> uh, or with uh, when in Rome. And that is uh, going on at 7 p.m. at the Diamond Music Hall in St. Peter's, Missouri. So Bow, wow, wow. What was their big song? I don't really remember. I don't think. Uh, Bow, wow, wow, UPO, UPA. I don't think. That no, was man. It. I don't think. But they did have That's I remember way the cooler than their music. <laughs> you know who does that? That's Johnny Guitar Watson. Bow Wow Wow, you pee, you pee. Yeah, Johnny yeah, Guitar yeah. Watson. Uh, yeah. But the band Bow Wow Wow, I do remember the name. I can't place the song right now. Like, they had a big hit in the. It in probably the had 80s. like a British accent when they sang. It was probably a fake British accent. Some keyboards. No, <laughs> Some keyboards going. Uh, so, anyway, Callus Entertainment presents. That's early MTV. Yeah, that Bow is wow, early wow. MTV. That's, right. you know. Uh, yeah. So anyway, Callus Entertainment presents Bow Wow Wow with Win in Rome, 7 p.m. at the Diamond Music Hall in St. Peter's, Missouri. That finishes out the Saturday evening for... Uh, Could you do that in your best Kurt Lorder voice? Or maybe Adam Curry? <laughs> <laughs> no. You remember Adam? I, he had I, nice hair. I, I remember Adam, but I don't want to talk about it. I met him once. I know you did. That's well. what I'm trying to. Things didn't go well. See, uh, now he doesn't I want to bring it up. We yeah. start, it started out great. We it were partying. Start, we were having a good time. You said his hair about, looked nice. I said his hair looked nice. Next thing I know, I woke up chained naked to a radiator. I don't know what happened. No. <laughs> I don't know if any of that's true. Maybe some of it is. But anyway, so, uh, so hey, so we we should uh, that 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 finishes up the Saturday, doesn't yeah. it? Okay, I started to say yeah. we should get back to Saturday. Uh, that finishes up our Saturday evening in the uh, in the Riverbend area. How about Sunday? Well, yeah, Sunday is happening again this week. Really? Yeah, Every we week keep putting Sunday it back in the happening. calendar. Every week, I keep thinking maybe they'll skip Sunday this week. But. <laughs> They don't every uh, time it shows. Well, the every, reason they don't skip Sunday on well, the calendar Super every week is because that's week. when Mondin <laughs> Band plays at Ten Pins Lounge. Right, and that's it because everything else is Super Bowl, right? <laughs> it is, yeah. except for Scott and Michelle. They're going to be at uh, Deutz Village Inn at Pontoon Beach. All right, on Super Bowl Sunday, they'll be doing the open mic still at uh, Staggering again. At Staggering that's about again. it. All right. Apparently, the Super Bowl is important. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, I, I I think it sort of gets good ratings. I'm, I'm going to smoke sure. a Super Bowl. Probably won't watch it, though. <laughs> <laughs> How about I'm you? I'm smoke a bunch of Super Bowls, maybe, while I watch the Super Bowl. Yeah. Either way, there's going to be a lot of, whole lot of bowling going. I might go bowling. I might go bowling instead. Yeah. Huh? I'll meet you down there. I'm going to be I'm gonna be bowling while I'm bowling. Right. You ever go to Bowling Green? Oh, That's yeah. That's a great name for a place, yeah. right? I love a Bowling Green. <laughs> Actually got some kinfolk up in Bowling Green. <laughs> That's kind of up. That's kind of, to me, I mean. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. This is what happens when you have to kill 20. How many 32 minutes? We're only at 18. Oh, no, I just that, that's not, that, that's that's not even that. true. That's not even true. Anyway, well, well, let's talk about some of the things that are coming up in the near future in the Riverbend area. Oh, wow. Future. <laughs> the future. Are we talking about the past? Well, our <laughs> well, guest next might. week is going to be Andy Benzman, right? Because <laughs> his birthday's Actually, coming up? no, it's going to be Lighthouse Studio. And, uh, it's the following week. Oh, okay. Benzman. Andy but, Benzman's and, birthday's coming up, though, so I I'm think excited. it's Andy's brother. What's his name? I never heard of him. But Andy's, <laughs> Andy's, Andy's birthday is... Andy's birthday. It's February 23rd. And so we're going to talk to his brother Jeff about his birthday tomorrow. And Andy's birthday <laughs> is at Roper's on February 23rd from 4 to 8. There you go. Andy Benzman. 65th annual. Unlike his brother's, which is like 4th annual, which doesn't make any sense. <laughs> How can he only be 4? Well, he was born <laughs> on a leap year. So, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Uh, is yeah. that a, uh, you know, I, I had a friend who was born on a leap year so he could get off like ordering the child's off the child's menu most of his life. Saved him a lot of money in the long run, I think. But anyway. So I'm excited for Andy Benzman's birthday. Yeah, Andy Benzman's On February 23rd out. at Roper's from 4 to 8. I'm, I'm going to take a wild guess and say Cricket and the Grilled Avocados might be playing. Well, Andy Benzman's playing. 
There you go. Because <laughs> it's his birthday. There you go. 65th annual. <laughs> I don't think Roper's was even open 65 years ago when Andy had his first birthday bash there. No, it was, was just a field. Yeah. <laughs> and he <laughs> stood just... out there. He was six months old. Uh, playing that telly. There was, <laughs> there was a little shack over there that they, they kind of gathered around. People gathered around. They made a fire in a in a big... I don't know. Anyway, I'm just talking. I'm saying words now. So, uh, uh, Lighthouse Studios is next week, by the way. That okay. is our, that is our n- next week. We have not had the guys from Lighthouse in since they made their big move because they were so busy uh, keeping things together, and we've been busy promoting other stuff. So, we're, we're finally going to catch up with them, talk to them about how things are going in the new facility, and uh, then the week after that, okay. Jeff Benzman, uh, the brother of Andy Benzman, will be our guest. Uh, we couldn't get Andy. We couldn't get Andy. I tried. He's too big a star. Yeah. Well, Jeff kept answering the phone, and I'd be like, hey, is Andy there? <laughs> <laughs> and, and he's like, no, but this is Jeff. I could be on the show. And you I'm guys like, remember me? You guys he always he gets remember? me so drunk and gets handsy with me. I mean, I like him and all, but uh, Andy, Andy's just a little more gentler. Which You know, you know what's coming up sooner than that? Though. What? What's that? February 7th. Warm Soda's having Rise 3 down at Jacoby's. Nice. That's uh, some live music and uh, some, uh, what do they call that, spoken word. Oh, yeah. Art display, diverse art, very cool stuff. <laughs> Check out Warm Soda Magazine. And they they got some cool stuff. They're really pushing the local art scene. And, Is that and .org or .com? I don't remember. But. You got, <laughs> I don't know. I think if you just type in Warm Soda Magazine, it's the only thing that will come up. If anything else comes up, there's some freaks out in the world because warm soda. It doesn't even sound like I like cold soda. Well, kind of icy. You know, Europeans, they really don't like ice. I guess. I guess. You can't get an ice in Germany. All right. <laughs> Never uh, been there, but. Yeah. So, what else we got going on? You can on? get sauerkraut. Yeah. Probably. Nine? On ice, maybe. Welpen cats and guns. I, yeah, I just said cats and no. dogs, and I don't even know what language I said it in. But anyway. So uh, <laughs> right before Andy Benzman's birthday is a really huge festival. Maybe the biggest drawing festival in the state of Illinois for the entire year. Oh, yeah. what? And what festival is that? Well, Wordy Gras? Wordy Gras, of course. Oh, my gosh. And I'm telling you what, the, the picture you sent me the other day of, I guess it's last year's Wordy Gras. It was insane, the amount of people up in little bitty Warden, Illinois. And that's like that every year. They yeah, so set up uh, two big tents, heated tents. That's important. Right. For Wordy Gras, which is, just in case you didn't figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Warden. <laughs> and Mardi Gras put together. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so, uh, and, and a lot of people, you know, uh, St. Louis is been proud and boasted about the second biggest Mardi Gras celebration in the country for years now. You know behind, what the biggest is? Wordy Gras. Uh, right. right. Yeah, just behind Wardy Gras. Right. New Orleans is running third. No. They are. <laughs> They've slacked off a lot since honestly, the early days. I, I honestly believe. That but you know what about New Orleans is Mardi Gras is every day. <laughs> It's pretty much 365 days a year. So the only days that aren't Mardi Gras are like Jazz Fest. Yeah, <laughs> when they got something else going on. Right. But, uh, uh, but which you know, is you know around Mardi Gras. So. I, 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 I really don't. believe though, seeing that picture from last year's Mardi Gras, red beans. I and think rice. they're going to be uh, chipping at the uh, heels of the St. Louis All Mardi right. Gras in no time. They already have. It's just they're not. They don't have. TV stations up there that they can go, hey, we're the biggest. But you know, they also don't have the crowds to fight. You don't have to wear a diaper. It's way better. They got arrows on the street to show you how to walk right to the tent. Right. And, and, <laughs> it's and it's, it's, I believe it's much easier to find a place to relieve yourself, to use a restroom facility. I'm uh, pretty sure. Smaller lines to get into everything. And I'm not talking. If I'm not, I remember right, there's only two bars in Morton. Well, it used to be the Yellow Dog. Yeah, it's still there. And, and the next bar is the other one. Uh, the Warden. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't think so of that. So they'll have a tent set up at each. Excellent. From what I understand, Beowulf's going to be at the Yellow Dog. Rollins brother's going to bring it. Always. One o'clock. Gusto. Gusto is going to be at the other tent, one to four. Nice. With riding shotgun, six to ten. That's at the next bar. Man, so that's just, and that, you know, I, I got to make it up because I honestly have never made it to a Wardy Gras. We talk about it every year, 
Oh, yeah. Seeing that picture that you uh, that was posted on uh, the internet of last year's made me go, oh my gosh, that's a much bigger party than what I uh, oh yeah had thought was going on. America. It's uh, we're not we're not exaggerating. It's no. uh, it's a really big deal. Yeah, so they shut down the town literally. Ba- basically, they do that. The main road that runs through Warden has the two bars on it, and that that road shut down just like Bourbon Street is down in New Orleans. So. And then the Wordy Gras mascot comes out. Was that a big yellow dog? It should uh, be. I don't know what it is. It's fuzzy. <laughs> it's very fuzzy. Fuzzy. It's very wordy. <laughs> wordy <Gra-ish>. and fuzzy. <laughs> it wears a wordy gra, and right. it takes its wordy gra off uh, if you throw it beads. If you throw it beads. And, and you know what? So if anybody who, who has never been to New Orleans or does is unaware of the Mardi Gras tra- traditions, uh, when people throw you beads, you're supposed to expose yourself by now, lifting your come shirt. On. That's that's what happens in New Orleans. It's very confusing though because right. if you drop trowel when they throw you beads, <laughs> you end up in jail. That's what ha- I I took it a little too far one time. You did, but that, you but that did. that's a, that's for another time. That's for that's for our other show. <laughs> As you said, remember you realized you were in a gay bar too. I didn't realize it. I knew that all. Along. I don't think you knew. <laughs> I don't think he knew. You were saying things that didn't quite go with the Before surroundings. I, left, I got the point. You, you got the point, all right. <laughs> you got the point, all right, buddy. And what remember what happened after that? You tried to barter with the Haitian woman, right? I do over remember a, that. Over a talking drum. Which I still have to this day. Right. And Man. so the Haitian woman looks at you like with the most evil voodoo look I've ever seen. I got goosebumps. And I'm like, why is she looking at him that way? Well, she said some just words. prior to that, and here he came right up behind you as this is happening. Ugh. You had tried to barter with her son, and you didn't realize it was her <laughs> son with the same drum, right? So, right. So when you got to the Haitian lady, she's like, look, man. She didn't have to say it, but you could read it on her face. She, she said some words that I couldn't understand. She pointed at me and said, That was very similar. Uh, something very similar to that, and she put a voodoo spell on me near as I could tell. Right. And so, but it was the weirdest voodoo spell ever. It was a voodoo so, spell. So because, me, me and Dennis and right? our other friend uh, who was with us, we get in my car. Straight it was a from, Honda Civic. Straight right? from dealing with the Haitian lady. Straight to Jackson Square. Honda Civic. Jump in the car. Which is a two-door. A two-door and a hatchback. Three-door. Right. Right. And then we head down uh, 55 North, That's and all important. of a sudden, the guy in the back says, <laughs> there's water on the floorboard. And I said, well, did you spill the cooler? And he said, no. there's no cooler. And I look back, and there's water. I said, I don't know where it's coming from. I think water is, is slightly underestimated it there. It was deeper. a puddle of water. It, And it was getting deeper the and deeper. The entire hump. Deeper and you know where the hump is yeah. in the middle? And the, the water was level across. <laughs> and started coming up under the seat into the front. We're driving down a dry bottles. road. We're but driving. <laughs> my eye. I, me being the genius that I am, uh, I beat this this voodoo spell with a simple uh, um, other my a spell of my own. What I did was I simply pulled into a car wash, put some money into a wet dry bag, and started vacuuming the water until it was all gone. Still to this day, and I we have no phenomenon. idea where that yeah. water came from. It but was I completely a, dry. But I got a great deal on a talking drum, a great deal. So there you go. We had a really good time that day with a bullhorn. Remember that. <laughs> Right, we had a bullhorn <laughs> in the have a good in memory. The, in, oh, how could you forget this? This this was classic. So, so we got the bullhorn and we're riding around downtown New Orleans. Right, I'm driving. And people right? everywhere. If you've ever been down there, right, uh, you probably shouldn't be driving on some of the streets we were on. People <laughs> dodging out of the way. Right, right? but uh, by accident, you grab the bullhorn and yell. At our buddy that's in the car with us. In the us. back seat. Right. Not realizing that when you did that, everyone within earshot of us, and remember it's a bullhorn, dropped to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> they, thought, they thought something really bad happened. It probably sounded like police shouting instructions like get down. So or people in stores, oh right? Oh, my gosh. On the street, they're all on the ground all of a oh. sudden. I want to apologize to all no. those people. <laughs> just, just having fun, man. Just having a good time. Okay, so, so we killed some time. Ah, uh, yeah. With telling a pig telling story. stories of the past, and, and I'm and, glad you remember that. Stuff. Well, you know, I'm glad it's true, and we didn't make <laughs> that is not fake news, folks. <laughs> I'm we sorry. had videotape to prove it for a while. I believe there's still video of some of the weirdness that went down in that hotel room. Yeah. Uh, well, 
And, and when I say weirdness that went down in the hotel room, again, it was bullhorn screaming, 3 a.m., yeah, well, uh, all kinds of weirdness. Anyway, I digress. We should uh, we should probably get on to the Tommy Flynn. We interview, should. So. We should as we approach the 30-minute mark. There we go. Okay, well, in that case, <laughs> let's talk about two or three more things. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Well, we could. If you, oh, you want to push 30. it, buddy. Uh, so, so. A little behind the scenes, we're shooting for an exact time, <laughs> and we're not afraid to tell you that. No. <laughs> Where most people would never mention it, we don't care. No. Anyway, uh, so so tell us about what else is coming up other than Morty Gras, Andy Benzman's birthday party, Jeff Benzman's birthday party is also coming up, right? Yeah, did I mention Andy Benzman's birthday party is coming up <laughs> February twenty third, sixty fifth annual. At Ropers. And, and then the Jeff Fort Benzman fourth Who annual we'll is sure Jeff after. Benzman. Why do you keep bringing that guy up? He's this little. Brother, maybe? I don't don't know. I I think he's wishing he was Andy and probably (laughs) trying to make some money off of his name. Now we're getting somewhere making money off the Benzman. You know what? I'm going to start going by Sandy Benzman. Just you should to, just to get in on some. You of get a lot of gigs. Money. You get a lot of gigs in this town. If Dang you do that. right, man! Top dollar gigs too. Right, I'm hoping. Dye I your hair blonde. I don't really know that, but I'm hoping, man. Dye your hair blonde. Put on a wordy gras. I was thinking strawberry blonde. Might go a little reddish. Well, a real tight wordy gras. And, uh, uh, I get one of the little belly shirts where my big old belly <laughs> hanging out. And, Anyway, all right, so okay. what else is going on, though? We got anything else going on? Well, Help of Music allows us to do this every week. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And Mr. Matt Van Boris of Macias Insurance. Coming up, Tommy Fleming, right? We're going to talk Third Shoot and Alton next, right here on the show called... <laughs> <laughs> the one! Oh, I'm way off, Only by the way. <laughs> so The first, the original, the second, and the non-original... <laughs> The one you love, the one you can't wait to hear again, River Bend. Let's just call it Talent. All right, I'm sorry. We're yeah, we're really drawn out here. Uh, for Tommy Fleming coming up next on River Bend Talent. Oh my! And I'm Dennis. I'm Pigpen. Yeah. Welcome back to River Bend Talent. All right, brought to you by Halpin Music Company and by Mr. Matt Van Voorhis of Macias Insurance. There we go. Also of Matt Van Voorhis of Stubblefield Bands. Right. There you go. Have him come over, give you an insurance quote, and bring his guitar to play for you. Right. Make it fun. Uh, we got Tommy Fleming here. Welcome to the show, Tommy. What's up, guys? How you doing? Good to see you, man. We uh, we have not talked to Tommy yet, but Tommy's been in the uh, music scene for some time. Uh, not only doing this DJ karaoke circus uh, with extreme sounds, but also booking bands for Wix and then Fireball and West Alton and, and now finally Third Shoot, right? That's correct. So uh, let, let's start with the, the DJ Karaoke Circus, because that's kind of your oldest one, right? Like, that goes back to, what, 1993? 1993. Um, I was actually, uh, back in my Navy days, stationed in Staten Island, New York. Um, started running around with the DJ KJs around there, and that's just kind of where it all started. And then I came home, and you know, here I am, you know, I don't know how many years later, but it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> kind of took off on you, though, right? It did. It did. It did. It really did. I, I'm, I'm blessed. I'm very thankful. Um, you know, I've had a, a good team of uh, guys that have been with me, you know, off and on throughout the years. And uh, if you have a good team, nothing but good things can happen. All right. Well, well thank you for your service. And what did you do in the Navy? I was a signalman. A oh, signalman. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, Navy men. Well, you know, we like teamwork. Right. Right. See, so he's right back in. It's really uh, something that a lot of veterans do when they get out. They seek some type of team environment to get involved in because you're kind of whipped into shape by that point. Right. And so uh, Shape's finding... long and, gone. <laughs> you definitely learn uh, what other guys are like when you're out at sea for a long time. And uh, so, yeah, picking your teammates is a very important part of what you do. That's for sure. So, so when did you get back from your service? Uh, came back uh, here in January of 93. 93, and, and that year you kicked off the Extreme Sounds? Uh, it, it really wasn't that quick. Um, I, I came home, and I, I fell in with an outfit over in St. Louis, and I rolled with them for about six months, I guess. And then uh, I was introduced to Brian Trust. And from, I mean, we just clicked. So for nine years... Brian and I were Trust Entertainment, right. and I did that, and my son was born in 2005, so I took some time off, not much, and then I jumped into another deal 
uh, with a guy, and I did that for a couple of years. And then I left that, and that's when I started Extreme Sounds Entertainment. All right. And I, that's when I went from not just doing the DJ karaoke thing, but I also got into more booking the bands and things like that. Right. Okay. So, And you mentioned your son being born in 2005, Wyatt. Yes, Wyatt. Hi, Wyatt. <laughs> Casey, he's 14? Yeah, 14. Probably, probably not listening then. <laughs> right, right. He don't care. He don't care. No. Anyway, uh, uh, congratulations on that. And now you, you started off uh, with Extreme sounds just kind of you and, uh, and taking off but it, it really grew to where you had like a whole lot of DJs working for you from like 2005 to 2012 it was mm-hmm. kind of a and, booming business and even you. a little bit even prior before I started Extreme you know I had you know the whole handful of guys working for me and you know it, it, it's, it's one of those things that if you take care of your people they're going to take care of you Right. so I mean I, I could send four or five guys out in one night every weekend for a good stretch of years there so it, it was good i have no complaints no regrets right no well that that's pretty good if you can have four or five djs out across town every weekend uh, that's that's pretty good business going mm-hmm. there and the name of the actual business is extreme sounds entertainment correct but when you do when you go out you call it dj karaoke circus yeah it's just the dj karaoke circus dj tommy you know it's pretty simple you know it's a, <laughs> and it really you know it, it turns into a circus quickly because you never know what's going to happen mm-hmm. <laughs> you know i just try to be the ringleader and contain everybody <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I imagine with karaoke you get the good the bad and the ugly oh, and, and you do out. you know um <laughs> you know i mean sometimes you're fortunate you know which i'm been more fortunate than not and i guess they're pretty good singers nice so you know that's always uh delightful <laughs> right. yeah. it can also be entertaining when they're not so good Oh yeah, you know because I mean we all watch American Talent to see right, the fail, not right. just to see the, the success. But it, 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 the bottom line is, everybody's out to have fun. Yeah. Doesn't matter how good you are, how bad you are, it doesn't matter. If you're up there and, and, and you're having fun, and if you're even brave enough to get up there, right. and so like I always tell people, you know what? If you're not singing, you're clapping. If you're not clapping. You better get up there and show us what you got, you know. (laughs) So, yeah, I just try to keep it fun, interactive, you know. It's a good deal. As long as you're having a good time, you're doing it right. Right. doesn't matter what you sound like. Mm -hmm. As long as you're enjoying yourself, you're doing it right. Right, right, exactly. That's awesome. That's awesome. So now, in, uh, real quick, uh, just because we're talking about extreme sounds, uh, you also own extreme pools? I do. And that's... uh, uh, installation above, of pools it's uh, above ground pools installations liner changes repairs maintenance of all types maintenance pretty much if it's an above ground pool i can accommodate it so so anybody wanting your pool services just get a hold of you what through facebook yes you can go through i have a facebook page for that which is simply extreme pools uh phone numbers right on there and you know quick plug for that business just to yeah and just when to you're in there when you're searching extreme put x first right x t r e m e correct there is no e at the beginning right. of it so We're and that works with both businesses the extreme pools and the extreme sounds entertainment that's correct and you've been doing the pool since 1998 so yes 1998 i've been playing with swimming pools <laughs> <laughs> a pretty fun thing to play with right yeah it's not too bad you know <laughs> so you set up a pool and you're like you know you ought to you ought to have a party and hire a dj now that you got a pool right <laughs> And, and then I'd you're be, rolling. I'd be lying if I didn't say I didn't do that. <laughs> so, you Why know, not? I'll book some acoustic shows out here, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you really want your pool opening party to pop, right. you can hire Extreme Sound Karaoke Circus. <laughs> yeah, you know, and the, the, the slogan is... Um, Name the occasion. I'll be right. there. <laughs> I like Definitely, it, pool opening would be a good start in that in that business, right? <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> so, and now, in, in addition to the the DJ karaoke circus, extreme sounds, extreme pools, you're also booking bands now. You're, you, you we talked about you used to do it at Wicks and Fireball and West Alton. Now you're at Third Shoot. Yeah. Um, started out just uh, you know, hey, these are my buddies. Book them. They're killer. And then it kind of evolved into a little something more. Uh, business minded and um, you know uh, Dave Wickenhauser out of Wix he was gracious enough and trusted me enough to basically take the reins out there and uh, start bringing in the entertainment for him and it just kind of grew from there 
Nice. Well, and now that you're at third shoot, you had been doing the third shoot and graft, and not a lot of room to throw a big rock and roll show so much. Uh, right. Great bar, four stories up, great view, but not a lot, not a big dance floor or anything right. like that going on in that building. Now they bought the new third shoot out, out on Fosterburg Road mm -hmm. right there. Forkyville. Forkyville. Yeah, yeah Forkyville. Forky <laughs> 2204 Fosterburg Road. There you go. So that the, uh, the with the new third shoot open, man, this is a rock and roll venue now. It, it is, you know, and, and you know, we've uh, we've got the, the big room, the big stage, and uh, we've also got a second stage outside in the third shoot beach. And it's Wait. the best room in town. There's a beach out there? Mm -hmm. Third shoot beach. The yes, third shoot. I'm gonna guess it's where the old uh, uh, sand volleyball pitch used to be. No, mm. I don't know. No, <laughs> don't no. Know. Tell We've us about the beach. I'm making all that up. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a, there's a full beach out there. We've yeah. got the beach volleyball, the bags, the washers, big fire pit, the ocean, and uh, you put an ocean in. Yeah, that's coming. Okay, redneck <laughs> swimming redneck swimming pool's coming next year. <laughs> it's an ocean, and it's coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like That's the cool. That's cool. Well, uh, <clears throat> now, when they uh, first took over the new third shoot, though, it was rock bottom before that, or bottoms yeah. up. Bottoms, bottoms up. up. Right. It was bottoms and, up. And uh, for the first year, you didn't book the gigs. Basically, you just honored the gigs that they had booked. Yeah, when 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 Wayne and Kathy Draper took over and uh, whatnot, you know, Wayne wanted to honor all the bands that were already on date, and uh, I mean, we had to make a few changes, you know, just because of bigger holidays or festivals that might have been around us and whatnot. And um, you know, we we brought in a couple of shows, a um, couple of holes that we did have to fill, but there weren't too many. And um, other than that, we're just rolling. But we've got some very cool stuff uh, coming up. And uh, next year is going to be definitely, uh, it's going to be an eye-opener for the area. <laughs> 2020 nope. at third shoot is going to be an eye-opener. Was know. there a, a time period when Bottoms Up was closed and third shoot hadn't opened yet, I guess? In there? It was approximately three months and some change, uh -huh. give or take. I see. So now you've done, since you started booking the third shoot in Alton, you had Jaeger time reunion there. Uh, you had the Granny's Rock reunion, which was yeah. absolutely <laughs> oh, yeah. the hook. Uh, who all played at the Granny's Rock reunion now? Well, uh, uh, myself and Bobby Rollins from Beowulf, which was you know Granny's Rocker house band. Right. We got together and uh, we started tossing around some ideas of uh, who might want to come and join the show and join the party and all that and what we came up with was uh, a band called Hangman Yellow they're, they're some younger fellas but all their fathers had played grannies in different oh, bands wow. so it was uh, right of passage for those kids Nice. Uh, they were great um, we brought uh, Rebel Train to town which uh, features Steve Kyle and Bobby Taylor who were former members of Saturn Cats right well Troy Fleming who lives in memphis was uh, gracious enough to drive all the way down and he joined us so we actually had a full-blown saturn cats reunion with uh, steve hall fronting the band on vocals nice and then uh rock bottom came in and although rock bottom actually never played grannies everybody in rock bottom played, played at grannies, grannies in right. different bands <laughs> right right and then of course uh, we had the undecided come in and then uh, Frankie uh, brought in King of the Hill slash Broken Toys, whichever you identify right. them as. Right. And then, of course, uh, Beowulf. You can't have a wow. granny's reunion right. without Beowulf. Mm -hmm. No, they were the kings. And we, we had uh, we had 1,400 people through the door that day. Yeah. yeah. It's a huge crowd for that. But, yep. I mean, granny's, granny's exactly. Rock was the last big club in the Alton area. Like, there's tons of bars, tons of venues, tons of places to play gigs, but that was a club. Right. When, when the clubs were big and, and mm -hmm. held hundreds of people. Yeah, both of them. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, both of them. But the, the, you know, the, the one in Alton uh, was the, the last hurrah for Alton in the sense of a big club. You guys are kind of trying to bring that back with this, where you're you're going more for the bigger shows. and uh, Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I mean, obviously, you know, we're still going to uh, host uh, what you want to call local bands or whatever, but, you know, look into the future, we're, we're definitely going to do uh, some different uh, things as far as entertainment. Um, 
<laughs> we're gonna we're gonna yeah. well, well let's talk about a few of the yeah. things that okay. you're bringing to the surface uh, uh, cabaret shows yeah. uh, yes that's that's correct um, it's uh, Saturday November 2nd we're gonna do it's called the sometimes cabaret um, and uh, that's gonna be a good time so uh, burlesque show that's what it is right right and then uh, how about drag queens you gonna do some of that uh yeah we are uh saturday november 23rd uh we're gonna do a drag show uh hosted by skylar control and roxy valentine and even before that on thursday november 21st we're gonna bring in the hunks for the ladies so uh, you know we're gonna have a good ladies night that night nice ah, mm-hmm. nice yeah and uh, like I said, also uh, going to do some comedy, right? Yeah, looking at booking some comedy shows for the future. Uh, looking at booking possibly some tribute bands. And uh, this coming weekend, we've got Doctor Chavegas coming in for our Halloween party, Oktoberfest. So that's going to be a good show for us. Nice. Right on. Yeah. Uh, and now looking into the next year with all the all the things you're trying to. You're not just booking bands; you're booking entertainment. Correct. Yeah, types. just you know, you know, Wayne, you know, out there, he wants to uh, he wants to broaden the horizons, and he wants to try to do just a little bit different stuff than you know the the run of the mill or whatever. You know, we just we just want to do what we think is going to work for us. Right. That's all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. No no point in staying in the box. Come on out. Yeah, we're definitely thinking outside of the box. <laughs> There's a lot yeah. lot going on out there, man. You still got uh, food and all that going on as well? Yes, excellent food, specials every day of the week, uh, food specials, drink specials. Um, if I can remember them off the top of my head. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I know Mondays, uh, Mondays we actually we call it the Wix special. Okay. And uh, we brought back a quarter draft on Mondays. Mm. Right on. And so, you know, that's quarter interesting. Draft, yeah. yeah, that's going back to the grainies type thing. Yep, yep. Um, uh, Tuesdays, what is Tuesday? Taco Tuesday with uh, margaritas. And uh, what is Wednesday? Uh, Wednesday is Wing Wednesday. Nice. Um, <laughs> right. So I would assume mostly a bar type food that people are used to at bars because I think Bottoms Up. Or, uh, yeah, Bottoms Up, they did steak and stuff like that. We do. We yeah. do offer steak, and uh, we offer a plethora of stuff on our menu. Right, so, so it's we're another not, menu it, maybe to them, huh? Yeah, it's not just uh, regular, you know, bar food or finger food, mm-hmm. you know, necessarily. There's a full menu out there, and nice. there's all kinds of choices. Um, we do, uh, we offer peel and eat shrimp. Wow, Okay. There you go. That's a fave. Um, which is always a hit. And then uh, we're in season for Wayne's, Insane Wayne's, famous kettle chili, which is a hit. I think he's made about 40 or 50 gallons of that so far in the last wow. three weeks. Yeah. You know, it, it, that stuff goes like hotcakes. Nice, nice. <laughs> nice. Nice, man. You are just a busy man with all this going on. You're keep, keeping the third shoot booked up, keeping the people in their above ground pools, mm-hmm. keeping the DJ uh, karaoke circus going on all over town. Uh, and, and you got Wyatt to take care of. So. Right. So. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, definitely. So that's a, a lot going on. Now, people uh, people want to get a hold of you for any of these services. Uh, whether they will, I mean, there's so many reasons to get a hold of you to, to book you for entertainment, to try and book entertainment with you. Bands want to get a hold of you. Oh, yeah. They, they definitely reach out to me. You know, you can always hit the socials on Facebook. Uh, my number's there. Um, Okay, so so and, uh, so and you've got a personal, which is Tommy Fleming, your Facebook, correct? Or you've got the uh, the business, which is Extreme X T R E M E uh, Sounds right? Entertainment, right. and then yeah. Extreme Pools numbers posted on both of those sites. There you go. So you're easy to get a hold of. Yeah, I'm pretty easy to find. If you can't reach me by phone, just go to Third Shoot and Alton. <laughs> <laughs> you'll find me there drinking, right? <laughs> uh, you'll find me there doing something, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. You know, now Wayne, you, uh, Wayne, Wayne keeps me pretty busy. Right. Would you prefer uh, them to call you or send you a message as a matter? Message is usually easier. Yeah. You know, that way, I go, what did I, what did we talk about? Yeah. You know, you yeah. refer back to the message, you know. Yeah. There you go. Better than the old memory. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're telling me. <laughs> All right on, man. Yeah. Cool. Well, appreciate you dropping in, Tommy. Long time overdue. Yeah, definitely. I appreciate you guys uh, having me on the show and, 
you know, let me uh, come down and uh, tell you kind of what's going on with me. And appreciate you guys asking about Third Shoot, you know, so I can give Wayne and Kathy Draper a plug. You know, they're the owners out there. Yeah. They're good folks. And, well, you know, and they're Forky, doing, a lot, they're you doing know. a lot out there. I mean, yeah. that place has is, is, uh, been revamped kind of since oh, then. It, it was a total bar demolition, bar rescue, bar rehab. I mean, <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. if you knew what it looked like before yeah. – and then to what it looks like now, it's it, it's it's a night and day difference, you know. We, you know, being sound men, we have to ask: uh, Did you guys update the electricity in there around the stage? Because I remember having some problems. Yeah, with that electricity. The bands come in, and there's zero issues with power now nice. on the stage. Nice. Uh, nice. Uh, you know how many bands good. just went? Yes. Where I get that's <laughs> always an issue when, when you're when you're on the verge of your amp blowing out in the middle of a set or. We can't push the PA up any louder because it's going to take. Or we can't have lights because you know. I mean, all all these. You know, that's that's the good thing about Wayne. You know, he's a licensed contractor in every nice. facet you can imagine. So he does everything himself. Everything is done in house. Nice. Um, so, you know, obviously with me doing what I do, you know, power at the stage and whatnot mm -hmm. was, you know, the first thing we needed to address. Yeah. Right. Because nobody wants to blow power no. in the second song or first no, song. Right. You know? right. Pretty, yeah, pretty anticlimactic whenever you don't get right. to finish a song. <laughs> and same thing with our outside stage. It's got full power out wow. there, you know, so there you don't have to worry about blowing anything. Or, nice. Yeah, you know, we've already had several bands play outside and, uh, I mean, the big beach party was on. Of course, every Everybody was around the boat bar enjoying themselves and playing a life-size Jenga and <laughs> bags and washers. and So you have a bar that's a boat. A boat bar. A boat bar. It, it, that's oh. out on the beach. It's parked on the beach. Okay. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a 33-foot Chris Craft Cavalier. Wow. All wooden boat. Led the blessing of the fleet uh, several different times. Um we went over to St. Charles and picked this thing up on a flatbed. <laughs> <laughs> we, we trucked it down to behind the bar there and yanked it off with a couple of bobcats. And Wayne, being the genius that he is, he sunk it in the ground to a point and built a 40 by 50 deck all the way around it, put a circus tent over it, lit wow. it up with LEDs. And, um, you know, they had yanked the motors out for us at the yard, and Wayne recessed the floor and turned it into a full-service bar. Wow. That's great. That's amazing. That is great. Yes, yeah, so you can sit there at the boat bar, and you can see the stage, and you can check out the band or whatever we got going on. And nice. Nice. Yeah, that's it's, that's it's, worth making the stop in there to see. I tell you, it, people were... You know, when we were still doing the construction and whatnot, people were driving up to the uh, parking lot next to the bar just trying to take pictures. They wanted to check it out and see what was going on. Man, we heard about this boat bar, you know? Yeah. So, you That's know, people cool. were really come, wanting to come check it out and whatnot. So it's been a big attraction for Wayne and Kathy. Excellent. Well, that's really cool, that. man. I'm glad they're uh, picking it back up at uh, Forkyville because, you know, that's a legendary place to party. Yeah. It is, it you know. It goes back a long time. It, yeah. It's a legendary plate place and um with some legendary antics oh, yeah. <laughs> over the years you know but uh you know we think that's pretty much gone now and mm -hmm. you know richards when i first uh walked in there that sure was a pretty crazy yeah. place it was a lot of crazy nights it was place. i know richards, i think we all did <laughs> yeah. you well, know i'm happy that the uh that the drapers have got it and, and that they're doing some great things and you know I, I wanted to get my hands on that room for so many years mm -hmm. and yeah. i got i gotta tell you you know wayne had talk to me about it you know and then they thought well he wasn't going to do it you know and so he calls me it was a sunday night at like 8 30 9 o'clock he calls me he's like we're going to do it and, and i gotta tell you i didn't sleep at all that night i was so excited and pumped up you know and yeah, like yeah. I said, Wayne and Kathy, they're great people, you know, and uh, I'm blessed to, to do what I do with them, and, you know, we work well together, and uh, it's a, it's, it's a well-oiled machine. That awesome. sounds good. Well, we look forward to a lot of great things over there uh, come in the coming year. The 2020 is going to be the year of third shoot. Uh, 2020, June 20th. 2020 okay we have a little band called the bamboozlers okay. out of iowa okay and they're going to come in and they're kind of in that jimmy buffett vein and they're, uh, they're going to come in and right. they're going to do a big beach party for us out back and uh sure yeah, it's going to be, be a good time and actually chris the guitar player in the band 
World Navy buddies. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, there and actually, go. actually, he's coming down uh, Saturday to check out the Doctor Chavegas show. Mm. So uh, Chris is going to come down and hang out this weekend, and then in June he's going to bring his band to town and throw a big beach party at Third Shoot Bar and Grill too. Right. Well, I know there's lots of folks rooting for you, you know, because we've seen lots of places come into that building over the years, and uh, you root for each one of them that goes in there, right? Because it's a cool venue, and it, it sounds like you guys are up in the game a little bit, and uh, that's exciting to hear. Yeah, I got to tell you, it's all Wayne. You know, Wayne is. I mean, that's he's insane, Wayne. I mean, that's all you can say. I mean, everything you see, everywhere you look, came out of that guy's head. You know, he's just he's he's an awesome guy. He's a great human being. You know, and. Uh, uh, I'm fortunate to call him my friend. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for coming down and uh, telling us about the third shoot, the new third shoot in Alton especially, and, and uh, letting people know about your uh, extreme pools and extreme sounds. So anybody who wants to get a hold of Tommy Fleming for any of these purposes, to, to book him as a DJ, to try and get your band booked at third shoot. or Acoustic shows. You know, acoustic shows to, you know, cabaret, drag, comedy, any of that kind of stuff. Or if you just want an above ground pool in your backyard, get a hold of Tommy. Uh, you can check him out on Facebook, his personal Facebook, Tommy Fleming, or Extreme Sounds Entertainment. That's X T R E M E, Extreme Sounds Entertainment. Uh, thanks a lot, Tommy. Guys, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. It's been a blast. Yeah. Right, way long overdue for sure. Yeah. So we'll <laughs> talk to you again soon, man. All right. All thank right. you, guys. Back we'll with more Riverbend Talent after this, brought to you by the Halpin Music Company. Make sure you stop in and thank them for uh, putting us on the air each week. And uh, brought to you by Mr. Matt Van Voris of Macias Insurance. Back with more after this. <laughs> 